You're bringing up a, a very good example of what I said. You know, I do a lot of interacting with, with atheists on, on social media, and I started noticing this new idea that I'd never seen before, which is that the genetic code is not really a code. There's no language in DNA is not part of language and it's not a language or whatever. And where did this come from? I, I, I couldn't believe it. And I've been exploring it and I don't know where it came from originally, but uh, it it's crazy because what atheists are now say, uh, have been saying, and I think some of them realize this is nonsense and have stopped doing it, but many of them are still saying that the logic that, G that DNA is a code and codes need a coder, therefore there is a intelligent coder, is wrong. And the reason they say it's wrong is because DNA is not a code. So in other words, is this the definition of ideology? You deny a scientific fact. And by the way, um, th there's a, a guy named John Perry who does a, who has a very good YouTube channel on science. He's not a theist. He's, he's an atheist, but he's very good, very smart. He did an interview with Richard Dawkins and brought this issue up to him. And Dawkins said, what? That's ridiculous. Who says it's not a code? <laughs> e even computer scientists look at this and they say, oh my gosh, that's exactly what we do. And every biologist knows that the, the genetic code is a, is a real code. I mean, there's not, this is coming from atheist ideology and it's anti-science.